Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Ozarks Fox AM. I'm Maddie Conklin, and I'm joined by one of my favorite guest co-hosts, Mrs. Sarah Fry. Hello. Thank you for having me. She's here. She's here. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? It's been a hot minute since we uh, co-hosted Taylor. I know. I was supposed to, but then I was so sick. What in the world happened? You had like laryngitis. I had and... bronchitis, laryngitis, after a sinus infection, and before I had started with like just like a cold, like a respiratory infection. Yeah. I had it for like a month. That's wild. It was rough. This season. Are you rough. better? I'm are you so okay? Good. I'm so good now. <laughs> I'm hoping that was like the end of it for winter. For that me. was like. That was months, yeah, was like, like a, a, month. a whole month. Because I think Urgent you started twice. you started to feel bad the day, like, before you even hosted with yes, me. Yes, the last time. Yeah, and then you were like, I really don't think I can do this. And then your husband was like, you need to rest. I know. He's Just like, tell Maddie you it. can't come I know. in. I was yeah. like, that's my boundary. It's like, I never say no. Yeah. I'm like, I don't want to. I know. I was like, I'm so sad. But that's okay. You're here, and you're going to be making your famous spinach dip in the second Ooh. hour, which I'm excited about. I can't wait. But, um... Because Jeremy is still out on vacation, I like to ask my guest co-host, because it's the holidays, yes. what are some holiday traditions that you um, have maybe carried from like when you were little to now with Warner? Yeah. Or do you have traditions? Yeah, I am not sure who's watching, but we do have a couple of like, like sand, things to get ready for Santa Okay. We do. Yeah. Um, my grandma is hosting Christmas Eve dinner, Big Honey Baked Ham. I'm gonna make Christmas breakfast. Okay. So we celebrate Christmas, New Year's. Yeah, so. okay. <laughs> well, and you were telling me right before we went on, how many loaves of sourdough and how many cookies do you have? This what week, does your week look like? I was like, I made a schedule like, every 30 minute increments. I'm making 32 loaves of sourdough this week that I've just sold. Yeah. Um, 12 dozen cookies, eight dozen yeast rolls. And that's not for me or my family, that's for like, there's so people that have come to me and they're like, hey, can you do this? And I'm always like, yeah, 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 sure. yeah. of course, sure. Well, your Instagram is literally like the place to go to find how to make sourdough. Cause I feel like, and this is no shade, but every day it's like, a new sourdough loaf. Yes. Multiple things well, that you're, you're cooking. Well, because you're supposed to feed it discard, and I'm like, that feels like a waste. Yeah. I'm not going to discard that. No, Let's we're going to use it. <laughs> well, speaking of making something, I want to give a cool. shout out to my bonus mom, Laura Conklin. She got me this pickle ornament. And if you know me or have been watching the show since I started, I love me some pickles. <laughs> and actually, okay. oops, we got a close-up coming. And in fact, there are some... Pickle gummies within the ornament that Sarah and I are going to try. We tried to get Jesse Inman in on it, but he hates pickles, and Tom Schmidt just keeps ignoring me. Tom, do you want a pickle? Tom? <laughs> Tom? <laughs> um, I think he said he likes pickles, just no pickle flavored. Okay. You come on over here. So I don't know if we can get a. Oh, right now we're just diving in. We're just diving in. I haven't had anything to eat today. It smells like gummies. Does it smell like. But it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't smell like a pickle. <laughs> How wow. cute are these? Dig in, people. <laughs> oh my gosh, they a do pickle look for like your pickles. Thoughts. They do, yeah. Oh, so that's the ornament. Yeah, this is oh, the ornament. Nice. Yeah, and it holds Those it. Those are cute. And it holds the, that's interesting. Again, I don't know if cheers? it's. Okay, cheers. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. I, I am disgusted. I was like, are you going to hold Gross. Something? Oh, it's just a gummy. Oh, no pickle. It doesn't taste like pickle. No pickle flavoring? I'm not getting any hints no. of Boston. Pickles. Oh, it's a gummy. It's just a gummy. Thank goodness. I don't know what the. I was kind of, I was kind of hoping it would taste like a pickle. I should have soaked these in pickle juice last night. It kind of tastes like green apple. I was gonna say a little, yeah, kind of a. And then just like a waxy. Yeah. A hint, a hint of sour, kind of the green apple flavor. A hint of wax. That's not bad. At first, I was like, I was kind of nervous. I'm getting a weird aftertaste. Oh, here it comes. I had a weird first taste. I don't. Mm -mm. Where are we at on that? What? Okay. The Out pickle queen doesn't like it? I... You want rest of mine? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, there you have it. It was better than I expected. She also got it's Geraldo a, a um, pizza bagel bite one that's got gummies in it that I don't know if they taste like pizza bagel oh bites. I should have brought those too. Yeah. Well, tomorrow. Well, tomorrow. <laughs> well, Jesse, now that you know it's not pickly, huh. <laughs> Do you want to pickle for your thoughts? This is this is why I sidestepped these just to make sure. I had to make sure you guys were the guinea pigs on this. And yes. I didn't have to, you know. I think green apple. I yeah. There's I a say. lot of gummies out there floating around that you don't want to try. So. Uh -uh. You know Absolutely. Yeah. I don't All know, right. I don't know I, where these gummies came from. You know, I got a show to do here. I got. So. I picked out. Same. After yeah. I picked these out, I got to go. Tom's got it. Tom's legal gummies. Go. Gotta go work out. Okay. Yeah, of course. Yeah. All right. She's like, these are just plain gummies. Well, I'm saying, <laughs> I didn't know where they, uh, maybe Willy Wonka 
made those for you. Oh. The, the movie's I mean, big at the box office. That's what I was saying. Let's not get out of control. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Willy Wonka taking over the big screen in the box office. The film Wonka topped the box office in its debut by bringing in an estimated $39 million domestically. The weekend's ticket sales were higher than expectations for the movie, led by actor Timothy Chalamet. The movie focuses on Wonka's life and his journey in becoming the iconic candy man. Wonka is exclusively in theaters now. Ooh, uh, okay. Have you guys seen this yet? No? I, I didn't know it was out. No. I have not. I watch TV. <laughs> I, Origin story? I'm Fox not Oscars. the biggest fan of Timothy Chalamet and the trailer oh. where he was like, no, 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 wait, switch that. I was like, this is just too hokey. Oh, so, yeah. again, I probably shouldn't kick it before I watch it, but I, it's not on my list to go see. My question for you. Yes. What did Timothy Chalamet do? I don't know who that is. <laughs> What's he in again? What's some of his big stuff? He's in Dune. Who did he date? Um, he, he dated uh, Kylie Jenner. He's oh. dating Kylie Jenner right now. Oh, that's um, it, okay. Dune with Zendaya, he did uh, the Army Hammer movie. Um, uh, oh. Call me by your name. Call me by his name. I just saw something that said, "Oh, Kylie." Kylie. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The young. So Kendall broke up with her boyfriend today. Uh, well, it yeah. I try boyfriend? to steer clear of Kardashian oh. Jenner news oh. when I do my what's the, the Hollywood. It's the only thing I do I, like. Yeah. <laughs> Kardashian. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of used to like the show. The, Same. Uh, yeah. Keeping up with the Kardashians. Now just the Kardashians on. Hulu. On Hulu. Yeah. But. I I keep up with them, but this season basically should have just been like Kim, Chloe, Chris. <laughs> Because that's, that's all it. it was about, was really? Kim, Chloe, oh. and Chris, yeah. Well, so Those are kind of my faves. Any yeah, hoodles. Playing the hits. Yeah. Doing. <laughs> uh, speaking of playing the hits, Willie Nelson and family, that's a new four-part miniseries exploring the life of the music icon from his humble beginnings to superstardom as an American outlaw country singer and songwriter. The series also features several stars sharing stories about how Nelson influenced their careers. Willie Nelson and family premieres Thursday on Paramount Plus. I would be excited to hear some of the interviews that come out of this and see some of this footage yeah. that is uh, seldom, if ever, seen um, by anybody. So, yeah. I would Please. love the origin story of his long hair. Wouldn't mm. that be? I'm just no, kidding. No, no, no. I'm just kidding. The last time you cut that. <laughs> when was the last time you cut your hair? And what product do you use to make it so long and still luscious okay. at your age, sir? We Here's the have... first concert I saw. Are you serious? Yeah. Seen with that? Dirk Bentley at the wow. Shrine Moss. No wow. way. Yeah. Very I've seen cool. some good ones at the Shrine over the years. I That's, have uh, Bass Nectar. It's a good venue. Mm -hmm. Bass Nectar. Yeah. Huh? I've seen I was not stuff. expecting a Bass Nectar name drop today, but there we go. <laughs> there it is. That's like 2000s, right? It was yeah. 2000s, yeah. That's awesome. I saw Blink-182 there when they oh. were not, not in the original three. They yeah. had the, uh, the fill-in oh, guy. That was amazing. Oh. So. After they disbanded but then got back mm -hmm. together. They, they had one other guy from uh, another band called Alkaline Trio. Anyway, nerdy stuff. <laughs> I, wow. I, nerdy stuff, I actually also that, met like... John Cena at the <gasps> Shrine Mosque. John Cena! Oh. Yeah, as a, I was a, young, <laughs> a youngling. Is that and, where uh, your love for wrestling started? It was already in like full force okay. by that time, Absolutely. but that was like in actually. Huh, I'm gonna act like oh, I don't really remember. It was 2004. Okay. <laughs> it, was awesome. yeah. it was pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it was like in January or February leading up to WrestleMania. Jake, I know, is a big uh, wrestling fan up there too. So. Ooh, okay. Or you know, some people pretend they're not. We don't need to go off on this tangent. I, uh, you know, Blake's not. Or Jake's not one of them. Yeah. So. Uh, okay. Anyway, sorry. I, I just know, hey, brother. brother. I got lost in the sauce. <laughs> what are you going to do, brother? <laughs> brother. I, I like wrestling a lot, and this is getting weird. Okay. <laughs> and he's a USC girl. So, yeah. I'm getting embarrassed. Tom, take it away, please.